All right, welcome to my How Is It Reactive series. In this episode, I'll be covering the Funk Ops skin, which is currently in the item shop as of me making this video. Now, in addition, the Disco Brawl pickaxe is secretly reactive. So I'll be covering both of these in one single video. And unfortunately, the Disco Diva is not reactive at all, so she's only 1,200 V-Bucks. So I would opt for Funk Ops because he's only 300 more, he's got two styles, He's got a great back bling and, of course, the reactive nature. So for my combo, I've obviously got his pickaxe equipped, but I'm using the Get Down Glider. This is from way back in Season 2, so most of you probably don't have this. And then the Disco Dive Contrail from Chapter 2 Season 1 fits perfectly with him. And then I've also got the Disco Wrap, which is from Season 7. So this will complete my combo. Let's take a look in-game and see exactly what makes this skin reactive. So I logged on to my son Nolan's account. However, all my kids are in school currently, so I'm just gonna control both of these accounts, but he has this skin as well. He got it when it first came out. So I'm gonna have him run the secondary style and it'll make it much easier for me to show the reactivity as well since he has the skin too. So first of all, you can notice the contrail right away. Isn't that pretty sweet? The disco balls just hover. You don't even have to dive down. But if you do dive down, then you got that rainbow effect that comes out as well. So here's the get down glider. It's got all the disco groove that you would expect. Pretty sweet. Here's what the contrail looks when you dive. The only thing I don't like about this skin is that his hair color... Well, first of all, his neck looks extremely large with the hair. If you just look from the neck up, it almost looks like a piece of broccoli. And the hair color is just so light. I feel like it should be jet black and not that dusty gray color. I don't know why they did that. So let's take a closer look here. So you can see that he is heavily animated. The shin guards in particular definitely have a lot of bright lights. The handle on the pickaxe itself is well illuminated. The back bling clearly rotates. That's very animated as well. And then he's got an armband just on this arm that lights up too. And some of the lights on his back also light up. So just an all-around very flashy animated skin. But look at the neck on the one Nolan's running there. It's still fairly large, but now I can't unsee this piece of broccoli on the top of my shoulders. I can't. So on the pickaxe, the disco ball itself is not animated. Here's what it looks like when you swing. Here's the pull-out noise. So you may be thinking, well, how is that reactive? Well, I'll show you in just a second. So here's what the disco wrap looks like. And when you aim down sights, you can clearly see the lights on his armband as well as on his back. So a pretty clean looking skin, in my opinion. Now it's almost nighttime, and that'll help demonstrate exactly how this skin is reactive. All right, here comes the full nighttime effect. Look how bright this skin becomes. Now the reactivity is clearly not due to nighttime, but watch what happens when I emote near the skin. Okay, so pay close attention to the animated shin guards as well as his bracer. So right now they're just piece by piece lighting up. But when you emote, watch what happens. You see how they turn on and instead of going one piece at a time, they've got that solid color and then they move up and down. So let me stop. See how they're just one piece at a time lighting up? Pay close attention to the shin guards. And then when I emote, Boom, they fully light up. Now the same thing happens to his armband. Watch his armband there. One square at a time. And then when you emote, boom, they all turn on. And the same thing applies to his back. See the little strobes right there behind the back bling? And when I emote, boom, they all turn on. So he's reactive to music, which is cool. And you don't even have to emote yourself as I'm clearly displaying. Now if you do emote yourself, they obviously turn on as well. So just like many other of these disco slash DJ type skins, they are reactive to music. Now the only drawback to this is you can't really see much. So from this perspective right here, although my skin is lighting up due to the reactivity, I as the user controlling him can't see anything. You can't see the knee guards, you can't see the shin guards, the back bling is blocking the straps on the back, and you can barely see my armband. So it's disappointing in terms of reactivity from your perspective. But from an outward appearance, it looks great. And when you aim down sights, you can clearly see both things as well. But when are you gonna be aiming down sights when someone's emoting? Hardly ever. 
So it would be a lot better if you could see the actual reactivity when you're playing. So you'd have to remove the back bling and I don't know. I guess if you spin around like this, then you can see it. But just from a gaming perspective, the reactivity is a little weak simply because you can't see most of it. So the secret reactivity for this pickaxe only comes when you hit an enemy player. So they can be downed, they can just be standing there, you have to strike an enemy player. Nothing happens when you pickaxe something else or swing it normally. It's just completely plain. But listen very carefully, I'll turn the volume up. Check this out. Did you hear that? Let me bring him back with some shield and I'll play it again. All right, so here we go again. Listen very carefully. Did you hear that? So listen again. So there you go. That is the secret reactivity for the pickaxe. It plays almost like a disco tune only when you strike an enemy. So that's a very nice reactivity, but again, just like with the skin, it's something you're rarely going to do. How often do you pickaxe somebody? It's just very rare that you're going to pickaxe someone unless maybe you down them and finish them off that way. But still, a cool little Easter egg nonetheless. Here it is one more time. Pretty sweet. So there you go. That's how the Funk Op skin is reactive as well as his secretly reactive Disco Brawl pickaxe. An overall very solid skin that I think personally is well worth the purchase. However, if you don't like standing out, then this skin may not be for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.